Welcome back to the Broken Masterpiece. You guys click subscribe for me for more videos to come. Okay, no joke, this bench was on the side of the road and I thought, oh my gosh, it has such good bones. It looks like a squirrel gut after this cover and they just decided to throw it out. So first things first, we're gonna get this cover off. Do you guys know that over 9 million pieces of furniture are thrown away every year? What a waste! You can always do so much, especially when the bones are good. This is my square sander by DeWalt. You can find it in the description below. I put 80 grit on it because around these legs, the squirrels had also chewed quite a bit. And so 80 grit is really coarse and it will get out these grooves. The rest of it though, I'm gonna take a 150 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna get everything sanded down. Now you're gonna to wanna to get two buckets of water. I fill one with warm water and TSP, which is trisodium phosphate, and the other just with clear water. I get a scrubbing pad and I start scrubbing away. I dip it in the clear water just to rinse it off. And then after you scrub the whole thing down and this de-glosses, degreases everything, you're gonna take a rag and wipe it dry. The chair cushion needed a pad so that I can use a pneumatic stapler. So I have scrap wood in my garage everywhere, but you can ask your neighbors and I'm sure they do too. This is just cheap plywood and it fit, except that it was a little bit too long. And so I'm using my table saw and I'm just cutting off that edge. If you have a jigsaw or another tool, it's probably better, but my table saw worked. This batting was in really good shape. So we're gonna salvage most of it and use it to cover the top of the seat. I'm gonna use Krylon Color Max. I've never actually used it before, and you'll see why I'll never use it again. At first, when it was going on, it seemed really pretty, but when it dried, it seemed really splotchy. It was drippy in some areas. It just didn't give a good finish. Update, I do not like Krylon spray paint. It, uh, it drips, it's super light. It was basically pretty terrible, so I'm gonna sand it off just to scuff it up, and even it's sanding horribly. Look at that, it's just like balling up. So, gotta sand it down, you live and you learn. Woo. All right, I just got done sanding, and if your piece looks like this, and it's like, may look clean, but it's got a lot of dust on it. So you're gonna take one of these Duragold or any tech cloth, you can seriously buy one at Home Depot, or you can buy a bulk pack on Amazon. I put the link in the notes. You take it, you open it up, use a glove. I'm just gonna wipe it along the surface, like this. And you're gonna get all that dust off. The biggest problem with spray paint is that you don't shake it enough. So get your shake on. This Rust-Oleum paint and primer is also made for indoor and outdoor. It's got the perfect coverage, you guys. I just wanted to try something new, but you can never go wrong with Rust-Oleum. It has never failed me. This color is called Midnight Blue. Hey guys! Alright, this is one of my favorite pneumatic staplers. So this is called the Shore Bonder. It's also in the link. Um, it, you load it just like a stapler. So you just pop this thing here. I do it while it's not attached. And I load it right here. Pop them in. Close it. You're ready to go. Almost. You have to hook it up to your air compressor. Your air compressor um, can be any gallon. It doesn't matter. It's just how often it fills up, which just where your earmuffs, it's helpful so it doesn't scare them dickens out of you. Um, I'm using my heavy duty staples because um, these ones will go through the wood but they're going to attach just slightly to this and this is so thick that no one's going to be sitting on a staple and I want heavy duty ones especially for a porch bench um, to keep everything together. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to attach it on and there's my air compressor. So when I'm working with a cushion like this, or any recovering of any chairs, I make sure that I do all four sides first, not the corners first. You want the sides because you want to pull everything tight and you want to get everything really smooth on the seat cushion. Once I'm finished with the sides, I work from side to side. So if I'm putting staples in on one side, I go back through and I do the other side. Then I go to the opposite side and I repeat the same steps. Thank you. 
When you're getting close to being done, you can cut off the excess fabric, and then I use that black fabric that's right underneath. I cut it to size, and I seal in the base, just making it look a little bit more finished. And that's it. Get some pillows to pair with it. I just turned a roadside trashed piece into a $175 bench that I sold in 24 hours. So you guys can do this too. Make sure you stage your piece as well. I'll make a video about that in the future. Thank you guys for joining me, The Broken Masterpiece. You can also find me on Instagram and communicate with me there. Make sure to click subscribe.